in the clouds, dog, they saying I look stressed. I've been feeling down, pray to God that I'm up next. Remember when she blew me off, that's why I can't text. Now she call me petty, but I swear I can't forget, this ain't a test. Now they saying that I ball like Jerry West. Coming back for what is mine, I can't take no less. I said go and take a shot, so I need your best. It's time to What's up guys, welcome back to another edition of Sunday Sense. Back in Vegas, boys. With the Sunday nice Sense crew, back. <laughs> Marvin, Eric, Jack, if you haven't seen them before. So you guys, we've all been there, dude. The setter set a really sick toe hook for all them, yeah. but it's really hard. Yeah, yeah, yeah. <laughs> Nails. So Al Marcana set this really cool V5, V6 for us this week. I've seen some people do the toe hook, some people try to skip the toe hook. But today we're going to try to give beta on toe hooks on this Sunday Sense episode. You guys yes. ready? Yeah. Let's go. All right, we're right. <laughs> A little more enthusiasm. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, let's go. What I right inside. I'm in my, Yeah. All right, Marvin, can you walk us through the V5, V6 in here? Yeah, so uh, this is the V5, V6. What's great about this problem, it's got a really cool toe hook. What I like to do on it, I don't engage my toe hook completely yet. So I kind of leave it there and then when I throw. So when you throw it catches? It does, yeah. Yeah, because yeah, yeah. it's really hard to hold. It is, it tension. is. And it, uh, you could get a cramp too, trying yeah, to hold exactly, that position exactly. for a long time. But Yeah, so show um, us the first move. I mean, okay. just do the problem maybe. Since you're that's probably right. the only one that's going to day flash it right now. Marvin's the strongest one in our crew. So yeah, he's going out right hand around the arete. <laughs> oh, dude. But I see what you mean there. Yeah. How your toe caught after you went out. Yeah, so you, I don't engage it yet. Yeah. Um, I just kind of leave it there. So you're kind of hovering over the hole. Exactly, yeah. Okay. Because by the time I reach it, it, it fully engages, especially for my box, because yeah. I'm not super tall, right? Yeah, yeah. And that, that's the beta, actually. That's the secret that I was told. Kind of hover, engage after you reach out. Because sometimes it's way too hard to hold static. Yeah, for sure. Okay. Yeah, yeah let's see some more people on it. We'll get it. See you, Jack. Come on. Yes. What do you think? It's tough. It's yeah. like trying to like engage it more as I let go. Yeah. But I don't know. I just slipped off that time. We'll see. Okay. How are you on toe hooks, bro? Horrible. <laughs> are you? <laughs> yeah, it's the worst. Did yeah. you get this one in no, the week? No, no. I, oh, I you tried it earlier it. this week and I couldn't oh, get yeah, the toe hook to right. engage. But I'm gonna try to get some. Yeah, yeah. Let's, let's get it, dude. So you really do have to engage that left foot. Like this guy. You're, you're pushing on that as well mm. to go up to the next hold. I see. Come on, Ken. Yeah, yeah. Yeah, I don't know. So I struggled a lot with that problem earlier in the week because I wasn't doing what Marvin was talking about, kind of hovering and then in catching it after I went out. It's kind of a weird like, Balance. coordination timing yeah, thing sure. but yeah as long as you have a lot of surface area of the foot on that hold as you're going out you just have to trust that your foot's going to exactly. catch it and yeah that's it. and okay. i noticed with uh with ken too you had it already engaged right like yeah. as you're reaching out you're trying to and you're pulling back in because you're trying to uh, pull your toe in so kind of just glide with it i guess yeah let's see marvin <laughs> yeah sick and I also noticed that your butt doesn't like sag out. It's going with the movement, with of, the movement. Yeah, of the hand. Sure. Yeah. All right, Eric, you know the beta now. Dude, that was good. Yeah, Jack. Come on. <laughs> Get a left foot up, yeah, and then scooch your hands up on the volume. Oh, yeah, there you go. Come on, there we go. Sick. <laughs> oh, Jack. So what did you feel on the toe that time? Well, I got it in deeper. Yeah. And then I got a little bit more momentum, and it just it felt pretty good. Yeah, because as soon as your hand went over to that array, yeah. like the foot caught. Yeah. Yeah, yeah. I think it's like if you get your foot really deep in there and you get a little bit of momentum, it just sort of, your body just sort of naturally does yeah. it. It's not a natural movement, right? Yeah. <laughs> yeah. 
Oh, no. In the meantime, we're trying this green hold yellow tag. It's got a sick dyno off of these two jugs, but you're at this weird corner of the cave where the angle changes, and you really have to do kind of a one-two movement. First, you're pulling into the wall with the jugs, using all that momentum to be able to step up onto this round hold, and then grab this slopey, uh, kind of juggy hold. But it just takes a lot of coordination, it took a lot of goes. But check out some of this sweet, sweet slow-mo footage. I'm shooting at 120 frames per second and slowing it down 20% so you could see exactly how these mechanics work. Why are you guys garbage at this? Yeah, yeah. All right, guys, how's it going on the tow hook? Fantastic. Yeah, it's the best problem. <laughs> yes, I love it. Honestly, it's been my favorite in the gym <laughs> yeah. since I started here. What's, yeah. going, what's going on with your beta, though, Ken? A lot of things, a lot of no tension. Okay, how about you, Eric? Uh, just nothing happening. Really? No, no yeah, not, can't, make, can't make anything out of this. Some of it looks promising, and then whenever I try to do it, it's like, it feels like the coordination's not there. So what do you attribute it to? What's, what's going on? I'm gonna use my excuses is my shoes are too soft. Oh, okay, And I okay. can't, so this is my perfect excuse that it hurts and it's painful to engage. Yeah. So, my yours? excuse is like the sun is in my eyes. <laughs> yeah. You know, like there's a little bit of light if you look up at the top of the refuge and it just kind of leaks in. Yeah, yeah. No, I just, off. yeah, I just suck at tow hooks, yeah. So, you know what? Last week they said a V3, V4 tow hook on the prow over there? Yes, yeah. Maybe we should try that just to solidify your tow hook uh, beta? Yeah, I had to cheat that one. <laughs> yeah, <laughs> a bit. I already cheated that one. I, yeah, used so, sure. you know. I also did not use a tow hook beta <laughs> to get that done. <laughs> yeah, just avoiding weaknesses. <laughs> okay, yeah. right. try, try the pink tag one more time and then we may have to go work on the red tag, yeah. V3, V4. Yeah. Okay, okay, sounds good. All right, Ken, no look on the V5, V6, dude. No, <laughs> not, not even close. <laughs> so maybe we could do a better uh, representation of a tow hook on this V3, V4 that was set last week. Yeah. So walk us through the beta, dude. So right the, I think the intended beta is to start on these two holds and then get a tow hook immediately yeah. and to throw up to this next kind of jug. Where, where's the next one? This jug, kind of hold right here. Okay. Yeah. yeah, but how I ended up having to do it was Ended up going left hand first, and then getting a toe hook in, and kind of falling into the right so hand. So you didn't do the intended beta? I did not. Shame on me on but the refuge. But try it today, now that we have these toe hook tips from the earlier problem. Yeah. It, might, it might go down, dude. Uh, no. Do you want me to do it with my, my the beta where I'll get it, or the beta where I'll fall? The beta where you'll fall. Okay. Yeah, <laughs> let's do it. <laughs> Yeah, I thought this was a pretty hard V3, V4. Yeah, I can't you, do it this you, way. Yeah, you really have to engage that toe hook. Come on, Ken. Yeah, dude. Do that but I like how you practiced what we learned on that other one where you were kind of hovering and yeah, then... Yeah, I feel like the big thing is like getting your body into a position where you can get the tension. Yeah. Regardless of if it feels like you're gonna fall. Dude, <laughs> give it one more go, but this time really... Push off keep, And keep your leg fully extended, fully straight, yeah. yeah. Dude, that was better. Give, give it a few more goes, dude. Because we gotta practice what we preach, dude. I know, man. Ah, oh, dude, your your foot's not engaging it. On the right hook? Yeah, it's, right it's slipping straight down instead of pulling on it perpendicular to the hold. You'll get this, Ken. It's gonna be so satisfying. Ooh. Okay, let me give it a burn and see if you can see what yeah. my toe does. So my foot is... Kind of like that, right? Right. I couldn't hold it just by itself by releasing. Mm. But as I'm going up to that hold, I feel like my hips come up. Yeah. And it engages. And that that's toe. when you feel the tension. And yeah. That's when you feel the tension. Yeah. yeah. One getting, more time, throw on yourself. To come together. And then we'll try to get Davis, who's looking over there at it, 
Right. See if yeah, he could dude. demonstrate. Show me how it's done. Dude. Yeah, come on, throw. Yeah, that was better. That was good though, Ken. Yeah. Let's go meet Davis over here. Have you tried this one, Davis? Uh, yeah, I tried it last week. Yeah. Yeah. How long have you been climbing again? Uh, 14 months. A 14 over months. Here. Okay. Yeah. So you're starting to like develop on your basics. Try yeah, and continuing getting always. Getting more consistent. Yeah. Yeah, can we see your toe hook and see if it sticks? I'll try to make it stick today. Yeah, let's do yeah. it. Okay, so he goes out left hand first. Yeah, Davis. Yeah, Davis, that looks good. I like how you're using like the whole top of your shoe. Yeah, that's what I found to help. Initially, I was just using the tips. Yeah. But then I tried to just dig this hole. Yeah, yeah. Out. That way it'll catch the hole. Yeah, let's try it again. All right, let's do it, dude. Come on, Davis. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Beautiful. The rest of the problem is pretty fun. It's got like a lot of tension you have to hold on this incline. Small crimps up top. Come on, Davis. Ooh. It's okay, dude. We're just demonstrating toe hooks today and that was, that was really, really good. Yeah, any tips that you learned from that? Um, what I try to do intentionally is my toes in there. Yeah. But I actually try to dig this so it's almost like a bicycle movement. I see. To like so really you're keep the body Opposition, tight. right? Your yeah. left foot's pushing and your right foot's pulling. Yeah, and then I kind of just try to fall into it and just like hold tension. Yeah, okay. Yeah. Yeah, good advice, dude. B yeah. Bicycle advice. All right, Jack, we're going to finish it off with you on that one. I'll give it a shot. Yeah. This one's really hard. Yeah, Jack. That was good. Yeah, Jack. Sick, dude. Cool, man. Good job. Thanks. So can you recap today what we learned about toe hooks? Got to get it in real deep. <laughs> okay, yeah, right? Real deep. And then engage that whole leg. Engage the whole leg. Try to lean. Use momentum. The opposite way. Right. Yeah, get some good shoes too. That's true, that's true. Yeah. My favorite shoes are Scarpa. What are yours? I have the Shamans. Shamans, okay. Yeah, so that's gonna do it for this episode of Sunday Sends. I hope you learned a little bit about toe hooks. Keeping that kind of ankle flexed when you catch the toe. And I don't know, just trying to help climbers out here even though we're not certified coaches. All right, everybody say bye. Thanks for being on the channel, everyone. And we'll catch you on the next one. Peace.